In this quick video, we'll give you a brief overview of the project manager, introducing you to some key features and some tips for getting the most out of it. The project manager can be accessed at any time using the button on the left. It's broken down into two main areas. The first is for quickly creating and opening PF Track projects. The second area is to provide an overview and manage an already open project. Creating a new project in PF Track is easy. Enter a name, choose where you want your project to be stored, and then click Create. It's literally as simple as that. When you launch PF Track, you can open any recent project you've created by double clicking on one of them in the Recent Projects list. If you can't see your project in the Recent list, just use Open Existing Project and navigate on disk where you've stored your project, and then open the PFTP file. Once the project is open, you'll be able to manage it from the panel on the right. Saving is automatic in PF Track, but you do have the option to manually save your project here. If you need to rename or change the location of your project, you can easily do it using the Save As button. A neat feature in this panel is the Media Overview, where you can see all your clips and photos you've loaded into your project, along with their accompanying data. If you have a larger project with many media input nodes, you can navigate to a clip in the work page by double clicking on it in the media list. And this will save you some time rather than hunting through your work pages and trees. With lots of data being generated, projects can sometimes get pretty large. You can check and see how much disk space your project is taking up on your drive here. And if you want a more fine grained overview, you can click on the information button. Okay. This concludes the brief overview of the project manager in PF Track. If you want to give PF Track a try for yourself, you can download a copy from the description of this video.